and Radiance Olori of Agua of Bagua, Omobolanle Bakri, and the time to appreciate God for her contributions to the peace and progress so far witnessed under the reign of her husband, Obabajide Bakri, as the Agua of Bagua. His Imperial Majesty, Obadiei Eniton Gusi, leading other traditional rulers in goodwill messages, said Bagura is blessed to have such an honorary, completely dedicated to the successful reign of her husband and progress of the land. <laughs> Come one day, as the Alaki has celebrated 50 years of marriage, your husband will celebrate 50, 60, 70 with you. Big interest. Very good friend's wife, and it's also my sister. And I wish her the very best today. I wish her a very good birthday. She's having a good time, I can see that. She will continue to be that woman in fact we have together to be one. She should continue to be good. She has a lot of respect to people. She know how to welcome people to their palace. I wish her to continue the good job. I wish her long life and good. I miss royal blessings and prayers for the birthday girl of Bababajide Bakri, the royal stool of Agura and the land. The cutting of the birthday cake was conducted by the Oni of Ife. For Bababajide Bakri, it is a great thing to see his beautiful Ulori celebrate 45 years on earth with good health. <laughs> While giving thanks to God and showing appreciation to those who have come to celebrate her at 45, Ulu Yomobulanli Bakri said she is filled with joy to witness the day. I'm so happy uh, for all the kids on your people. Baba said you show a lot. I thank all of them. I'm, I'm very, very grateful. <laughs> Happy birthday to the charming Uluri of Agura land. To celebrate 60 years on earth, Mrs. Tayo Martins had a Thanksgiving service at her residence along Algeria, Belkota. This program created an avenue to give thanks to God for the preservation of our life. Congratulations to Mrs. Martins for celebrating your, your Diamond Jubilee anniversary. Days are inevitable, beautiful, and very particular moments in our lives, and also a moment of thanksgiving. This is why family and friends of Mrs. Tayo Martins gather together for the purpose of celebrating her 68th birthday at our residence along Ojere Abelkuta. The preacher, Pastor Samuel Beckley, highlighted what's next after 60 years on earth. That she should do more of God things because she's moving closer to the end. So she should be more closer to God. And that, that God that has been keeping her will see her through. Expressing her happiness, the celebrant emphasized the need to focus on God. What I will be doing now is to focus on God. And now, act, now active in God in church. I'll be more devoted to God than before. Family and friends testify to the goodwill of the celebrant 
while also wishing her many more years. Oh, she's a, a very pleasant uh, character. Uh, but she can be very firm and very, very decisive too. She is the sweetest thing ever. Mm. Uh, she is <laughs> It can appear very strong and very shouty at times, but deep down she's very loving. Very caring human being, a loving person, someone who goes out of her way for others. Our mind is open to everybody. She will says that um, our mind and people will take it or leave it. Yes, but then entertain. Although a bad day is a reminder of one's years on earth, it is also an opportunity to count one's blessing and give thanks to God for all he has done. Happy birthday, Mrs. Modupe Olatayo Martins. <laughs>
OGTV Event Center once again came alive. The event was for two lovebirds. The venue was beautiful to behold. <laughs> Pastor Samson Kazim of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in a sermon charged the couple to build their marriage on Christ who is the solid rock and make each other happy always as love is sacrificial. <laughs> Couple's outfit, trendy and colorful, families of the couple, friends and well wishers graced the occasion in superb traditional attires with styles. <laughs> Every move and step of the newlywed was an expression of joy, happiness, and great dreams accomplished for the glorious moment. <laughs> Applause as the cutting of the wedding cake was done while the fireworks followed. Love dance and the symbolic bride carrying ride were the first public assignment for the couple. <laughs> The chairman of the occasion advised the newlywed to treat each other with mutual respect and understanding. The parents of the couple were obviously delighted and gave tips on how Taiwo and Bukola can have a lasting marital journey. In the official, they should follow strictly what the scripture recommended. Yeah. My advice is that she should know how to take care of her husband, the family, particularly parents of the husband. Joy and excitement on the face of the couple as they embark on the journey of a new life. Here's wishing the Bola and Taiwo at Bola Day a happy married life. May God bless your union, Bukola and Bolade. After a lovely introduction in January this year, Mary Oluwatoi and Samson Olajide Adeneko finally tied the nuptial knot after saying I do to each other at the auditorium of the Apostolic Church, E4 area of Ogun State. OGTV's People and Event captured all the moments of the celebration. solemnization of holy matrimony 
It was at the auditorium of the Apostolic Church for area of Ogun State, as family, friends, and well-wishers converged to witness the conjugal bliss between the two lovebirds who finally came together to become one. Pastor Gabriel Babayemi fed the congregation with the word of God. <laughs> Change rings and marital vows to the delight of those in attendance. The couple celebrated the start of their journey to marital bliss with a classic reception at the E for Local Government Secretariat on the same glorious day. The chairman of the occasion, Mr. Olawale Salako, gave his word of advice for the newly wed. Some family members charged the new couple to remain united and make God the pillar of their home. They should seek advice from the God. Whatever they are doing, they should pray to God to give them the new way. The couple later shared their cute love story. We just thank God that even despite the challenges, the grace of God sustained us. I met my wife in a miraculous way. Because I've been praying, I've been searching for a lady like Oluwatose. Yeah. Is wishing them happy married life. The sleepy and agrarian town of Ibiade is seldom in the news, but early this month, the town played host to the Who is Who in Ogun State Government and notable people from far and near. They were in Ibiade to celebrate the life and times of Otumbata Judi at Dewali Balogo. The father of the Deputy Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Honorable Akim Balogu, Otsumba Adewale, popularly called Sparrow, until his demise, was the Sarumi Adini of Ibiade Central Mosque. Sit back and enjoy the details of the event. We are celebrating with him the exit of his parents. It's not a, it's not a mourning period. It's just to say that we are grateful to God for a life well spent. And when you see him, you can imagine the discipline that he had in his house for him to turn out like this. So I think the state is blessed to have somebody like him, very cool-headed, very well-behaved, very matured, and also very, very respectful. Imams and alfals in the council area and beyond converged on local government nursery and primary school in Biade for a special prayer for the soul of Otsumba Balogun Adewale. Mufti of Ogun State, Alaji Sheikh Mikhail Rufai, who attested to the good character of the deceased, said he was a devout Muslim. <laughs> It was indeed a celebration of life as guests were entertained by a trace band. <laughs> While my parents were alive, I took good care of them to the best of my ability. He is a man of principle, intelligent, with integrity, and a straightforward person. He's a person to be reckoned with. He is the person that works and proud that, yes, this is my father. We are going to miss the Lord. That is a generous man, very kind. In fact, he's a cheerful giver. If there is any problem, 
Sarumi Adin of Ibiade Central Mosque, Otumba Adewale Balogun, gave up the ghost on 7th of August 2021 and had been buried according to Islamic injunction. Eight days vigil prayer has been held for the repose of the soul of Alaji Abdugani Adisa Adebuega, who bade the world goodbye at the age of 92. The Fidal prayer was also the final burial ceremony for the late business icon and religious leader par excellence. For the repose of the soul of the diseased, Alaji Abdugani Adisa Adegwega, father of a notable politician and former member of the Ibn State House of Assembly, Honorable Adekunle Adegwega, who died peacefully at the age of 92. In their separate admonitions at the event, Sheikh Abdul Majid Ayinla Omikon and Sheikh Abdul Latif Yasata enjoined the congregation to do good at all times as death is inevitable. After the Fidel prayer was a reception at the same venue, Nawaruddin National Central Mosque, Abeokuta, where people from all walks of life trooped out in large numbers to pay their last respect to the Chairman Board of Trustees, Nawaruddin Society of Nigeria. Some of the family members who graced the occasion described Alhaji Abdul Ghaniu Adisa Adegwega, the patriarch of Adegwega family, as a God-fearing man of unblemished character, brave and courageous enough to tackle all life challenges. 92. I wish He doesn't want you to use his words. He wants to show you by his actions. So, and it's, that's the best way of teaching someone how to do things. Thanks by giving glory and thanks to Almighty Allah for the life of our father. Alhaji Abdulgani Adisa, uh, on behalf of the local government, I want to say uh, may his Baba's uh, soul rest in perfect peace. Guests were again treated to another reception at Daktar Hotel Abekuta by Honorable Adekunle Adebuega. Speaking on the life and times of his father, Honorable Adekunle Adebuega said, as a man, a whole lot of things needed to be emulated from Papa's life. My dad was a symbol of Islamic discipline. He always insists on honesty. He placed so much emphasis on name. Alaji Abdugani Adesa Adebuega died at the age of 92, and he is survived by children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Agoko Abelkota was a beehive of excitement in celebration of Miss Valia Olatu Bosu, who died at the age of 100. Hmm. OGTV's people and events covered the celebration, and this was how it all went. With that, we complete our package for today. Wherever a good soul has been, there's a trail of beautiful memories. To treasure these memories, the families of late Mrs. Raliat Olatun Bosun at the final funeral gathering at the Tejo Show compound, Agoko Abeokuta. The party had in attendance people from all walks of life who gathered to celebrate the exemplary life the disease. Children and grandchildren recounted what they will miss now that she is no more. A tiny mother was a great tiny mother. She is a good mother. My mother doesn't like anyone suffering. She was a good mama to me. She loved me. She always called me original. Grandma me was so nice. My grandmother is very nice and caring. Late Mrs. Raliat Abeke Olatumbosu is survived by children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. <laughs>
Thank you for being part of the show today. Join us again next week for another interesting edition. Until then, my name is Moreni Keji Shobaluju. Bye for now. Right, I'm sure you really